Okay, my name is Amy Clark. Um, I am a semi-truck driver. I have a company, AC Freight. And, but before that, I was a school bus driver for 11 years in Southern California. And with them hiring me and taking their bus across country to all the demos, I'm also a licensed school bus driver, which makes it legal to take all of you for rides. Very cool. That's something that a lot of the other companies don't have, is they usually just display the vehicle and then, you know, you just have to look at it and then they load it up on a truck and drive away. Right away. So, yeah, so this was actually my first ride on on a truck, on a electric school bus. And it was, it was great. So kind of when you were driving the or diesel school buses, did you think that it could be different? I didn't expect it to be this smooth and nice and comfortable. Um, it drives like you're floating on a cloud. It's got a great air ride suspension. The power is unsurpassed versus a diesel. I mean, you, you push the pedal and it goes. It's instant torque. Um, there, you don't feel the gear shifting because there is no gearbox. There is no transmission, so it's, it just floats. Um, braking is, is great. Uh, the storage, the seats, everything is just nice. The inside of the bus, it feels like you're like in an airplane. It's all new, nice, new, and modern. It's not the tingy metal that you have inside of a regular school bus. Just it's an all overall a great experience and a lot calming <laughs> than than what it used to be. Do you find the passengers are, are calmer, more relaxed? Yes, because there's not so much noise. Um, there's not you don't have the diesel motor noise. You don't have the the noise of everything rattling around you. Um, the kids are more calm because it's quiet. Um, there's a lot more options on these now. You can get them with USB ports and Wi-Fi, so they can sit there and do their homework and. Uh, you don't have to yell at them to be quiet because you're trying to concentrate. It, it's just a lot calming, more pleasurable experience to drive for everybody. <laughs> and how have you found um, charging? Because um, I know the infrastructure is still built out and that's a big question for a lot of people who are going electric. How's it been finding chargers and charging the bus? Is it a long wait? What, how's that experience? Um, no, it, the bus charges in about two hours. Um, driving it around cross country is just finding the stations to do it. Um, and finding the right kilowatts and as I think as infrastructure grows and more people get into it they'll be in a lot easier locations to pull this <laughs> into and hook it up um, but a lot of a lot of the Walmarts do have them uh, it's very easy you just go up plug in and type in your information and it charges and then it alerts you on your phone what the percentages and go inside do your shopping and go get something to eat come right back it tells you you know when it's almost done you go back you unplug it and you're on your merry way Oh, so it's like it's got um, communication like a passenger vehicle where exactly it tells you the state of charge on your phone and all of that stuff. Yep. That's cool. How do you find the regenerative braking versus just regular friction brakes? Oh, it's smooth. There's no the grabbing. You don't have like you don't you know when your rotors or drums get warped. You don't have any of that. It's just a nice smooth brake. Cool. It's, it's and it's uh, right there when you need it. Yeah, I know a thing with um, a lot of the heavier vehicles, large trucks, is like downhill and all of that. Is it easier to to drive, and are you is, is it less worry when you're going downhill? Yeah, you don't have to worry about heating your brakes up. Um, it it, it the, when you're taking your foot off the pedal, the bus is already starting to slow down, so it's it's doing it by itself also. Versus like a Jake brake in a semi truck, you're using the engine just to help slow you down. This. It just stops beautifully. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Most cars should go to this. So you're all, you're on board. You've been converted. Oh, absolutely. It just uh, the the bigger vehicles. I mean, obviously, this the working with the school district, you're not going to be pulling into a Walmart to charge. I mean, they're going to have their own infrastructure and chargers here, which is going to make it a lot easier. Um, but just right now, taking it, you know, for demos across countries, just making it a little difficult. But we're doing it and we're getting through it. And. and uh, Good thing that Walmart has big parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how are you finding the deliveries? Are, is there a lot of questions from the other drivers and stuff when you deliver these vehicles? Oh, the first thing you want to do is get in and drive it. And let them drive and, and that's it's such a that's what sells the bus is when the people that are actually the ones that are gonna be driving it, when they get to go in, it, it they're sold. They're just like this is nice. Comfortable seats, ergonomically correct, everything's right there, the blind spots are gone. Um, and it drives so nice. It's just, you're not wore out at the end of the day. And uh, that's, that's a good thing. That's great. That's great. So, yeah, once, they, once these, uh, the other drivers get in the bus, they're, they're still, they, can, they understand 
the difference. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And I mean, I'm sure with the, I mean, the fumes and stuff, you're not having to deal with that. That makes your day a lot better. Yeah, and a lot of the states have the five minute idling rule. Well, you don't, you don't have to worry about that. You know, when it's hot or it's cold, um, you can still sit there and be powered up and, and have the air conditioning or the heating on to stay comfortable versus everybody just kind of get close and we can, we're not allowed to idle and you don't have the, the soot going in the air and you get to stay comfortable and in, inside. Yeah, that's a great point because, yeah, we we see a lot of school buses. They have to park outside of the schools and the drivers mm. sometimes have to idle to keep the heat on and stuff. And this right. works. And how is the, the heat and air conditioning is sufficient? Great. Yeah. Great. It it's, doesn't use that whole lot of power. It doesn't, doesn't want, drop the battery real fast. And so it's they've done their homework and they've got it all correct. All right. So it's not only better for the students, it's better for the drivers at the oh, end of absolutely. the day. Absolutely. All right, great. It's a driver's dream to used to <laughs> driving the older buses to this. All right, that's great. It's good to get a you know a, someone who's actually using the product get their impression because you know people who advocate for this stuff usually aren't interacting with it on a day to day, and it's good to know that you know this really does make a difference for the people who will be using the product. Yeah, and like I said, driving it in, parking it, and it's just like opening up the gas tank door. You're just plugging it in versus putting the pump into it and turning it on and you walk away and you come back it's it's easy it's 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 not dirty you're not getting diesel all over your hands and uh it's once the people start to use it 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 just becomes natural it's just a lot easier cleaner and healthier yeah and um he was talking about the turning radius was like 32 feet which sounds no, almost like a car tight. it turns very tight no, and, no issues yeah so, you don't have to worry about the the, the roundabouts and curbs and tight turns and backing it turns on a dime so just in regular operation it's easier than a regular diesel vehicle yes and the power steering in this compared to what i used to drive at mm -hmm. uh, crowns um, and thomas's they this the power steering is just it's butter i mean you, you can do it easily one-handed okay Nothing's very cool you. thanks again for watching please subscribe comment hit the notification bell like and share to help our channel grow and below you'll find links to our website, evolveelectric.org, our Twitter and Instagram.